Mathematicians, so today we're going to do a little bit of an interactive lesson and I asked in the directions for you to have a material like straws or pencils or anything that's long and skinny, even if you need to cut a strip of paper into four skinny pieces, that will work just fine because we're going to be constructing some angles and some um, two-dimensional shapes. So if you need to pause the video right now to go get your materials, go ahead and pause and go pick up your things. Okay, now we're back and we're ready to um, put together some different angles and shapes. So I'm going to start by taking just two of my straws. And I've got some twist ties here too, but you really don't need the twist ties. I'm just going to use them to help me hold together my two straws to form an angle. So I've created an angle here, okay? And when we think about this, an angle is made up of two lines or two line segments, um, two rays that join at one point. And this point right here where the two parts join is called the vertex of the angle. If I'm holding this angle so that one straw is going straight up and down and the other straw is going straight sideways, I've created a 90 degree angle which is also known as a right angle. When we have a right angle this ray is perpendicular with this ray, or this line segment is perpendicular with this line segment, and it creates a right angle. So these are perpendicular line segments right there. If I open my angle past that 90 degrees or past that right angle, now I've created an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is any angle that's larger than a right angle. That's an obtuse angle. Make these angles with me. Take your two, two pencils, two straws, two pieces of paper, create a right angle, and then make it larger to create an obtuse angle. Now we're going to go back in and rotate on our vertex to something smaller than 90 degrees. And it can be any angle that's smaller than 90 degrees. That's called an acute angle. I always remember that one because I think it's, oh, it's a cute little angle. So it's an acute angle smaller than a right angle or smaller than 90 degrees. Okay. All right, now, if we're drawing an angle, you think about starting with the point, adding two rays coming off of that angle, and then we use three points to label that angle. So I'm gonna show you a picture of an angle that's drawn and how we can name the angle. So here we have angle A, B, C, but as you can see, you can also have the name C, B, A. The only thing about that's important about naming the angle is that the vertex is in the middle of the name. And then the other two points are two points that are labeled on the rays or the line segments coming off of the vertex. So we can name it going this direction saying A, B, C, or we can do C, B, A. Either name is fine. You notice the little symbol that's before the ABC, before the CBA, that just signals angle. So angle ABC, angle CBA, and in this angle, the vertex is point B. Okay? All right. Now, find three of your straws or your pencils, whatever material you had, because we're going to build some triangles. And so we, when we have a triangle, I know this is not new to you. You probably learned it in kindergarten. It's a shape that's made of three sides, but also made of three angles. Hence the name triangle, three angles, right? Okay. We can have different types of triangles. In my case, all of my straws are exactly the same length right now. So when I make a triangle where all sides are the same length, that has a special name. It's called an equilateral triangle. The words equilateral stand for equal length of sides. So this forms an equilateral triangle. Okay, I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to take one of my straws, and you're, you don't have to break pencils if you to do this, but I'm going to make it a shorter side. And if I have one side that's different and two other sides that are the same, then that type of triangle is a, I always get these mixed up, isosceles triangle. Okay, so one side different, two sides the same, isosceles triangle. 
And then if I have three different lengths of sides, we would call that triangle a scalene triangle. So it doesn't matter what length they are, but if they're all three different, we end up with a triangle something like this. That's going to be a scalene triangle. I'm going to go back to three straws of the same length and form a right triangle. What makes it a right triangle has to do with what we talked about with angles in that it has one right angle as part of the triangle. Okay, so if I'm making a triangle and there's one angle that is a right angle, that makes it a right triangle. This angle down here is a right angle, it's a right triangle. All right, and then there's one more type of shape I want to show you create with you that would be a review of last year as well and that's a quadrilateral. Quad meaning four, lateral meaning sides. So in this case we can actually call it a quadrilateral or a quadrangle. Quadrilateral meaning it's a shape, two-dimensional shape with four sides. Quadrangle meaning it's a two-dimensional shape with four angles. Well if something has four angles it also has four sides. So those names mean the same thing, a four-sided shape with four angles. Here's an example of a quadrilateral. This particular quadrilateral that I created is also known as a trapezoid. And what I want you to pay attention to is just the properties of this quadrilateral. And so I don't have all sides the same length. That would have made it a square. I don't even have two pairs that are the same. That would make it a rectangle. But in this case, I have two, one set of sides, the one on the bottom and the one on the top, that are parallel, like we talked about with our line segments yesterday, and then the two on the sides that are not parallel. Well, a quadrilateral that has one set of parallel sides is also known as a trapezoid. It has that special name. So this particular figure has the name of quadrilateral, quadrangle, and trapezoid, just as it, thinking about the properties of the shapes. These are all any shape I can make, two-dimensional shape that's closed, that doesn't have lines that cross, that all come together with different length like, sides or angles. They're all called polygons. These are also all polygons, all right? So I can make different quadrilaterals with my straws. You can experiment with your straws and pencils and change them into different shapes, but as long as those shapes close, and have multiple sides to them, more than two sides, you're going to end up with a polygon of some kind. Triangle, a quadrilateral, a quadrangle, try out making different angles, acute angles, right angles, obtuse angles. Just play with those materials a little bit and tell yourself those different words to help you become familiar with them. And then in your practice today, you're going to look at drawing out some of those different types of angles. And I put a little resource there to remind you, what does it mean when we have an acute angle, a right angle, an obtuse angle? What are the different types of triangles we might have? And what is a quadrilateral? And what does that have in it as well? So you can use that resource to help you too. Good luck with your work.